Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. With land at a premium, development and construction work has to proceed in and around hilly locations or near steep terrain. Combined with subtropical climate bringing warm and wet summers, this makes Hong Kong prone to flooding and landslides. On the 18th of June 1972, after a period of heavy rain, more than twice the average for the time of year, two major landslides occurred. At approximately 9 p.m., a hillside failed above Po Shan Road on Hong Kong Island, causing a catastrophic landslide, which claimed 67 lives. Over in Sao Mao Ping in the Kun Tong district, the story was much the same. In the 1970s, this area was home to many families of low income, some of whom inhabited simple huts on the steep slopes. On that fateful day, the rain was relentless all morning with an exceptionally heavy downpour around 11 a.m. By 12.30, Choi Ping Road in front of a licensed squatter area at the base of the fill slope was already flooded. At 12.40, earth was seen coming down the fill slope. Less than half an hour later, the disaster happened. Described as sliding down like a carpet, the 40 meter high fill slope collapsed onto the huts in the licensed area, engulfing them in earth and pushing everything in its path across Choiping Road and into the Quintong resettlement estate. All in all, 71 people lost their lives. The devastation was comprehensive and the licensed squatter area was completely covered in mud, up to three meters deep in places. The forensic investigation concluded that the landslide was primarily due to the softening of the fill material caused by infiltration of rainwater, mainly through the sloping face, as a result of an exceptionally long and intense rainstorm. Some four years later, a short distance away, another fatal landslide happened. Just 200 meters from the 1972 landslide, on the 25th of August 1976, another fill slope failed in similar circumstances. Tropical storm Ellen had battered Hong Kong for two days, causing widespread landslides across the territory. At around 9 a.m. on the 25th of August, the slope above Block 9 of Sao Mao Ping Estate suddenly collapsed during a heavy rainstorm. The wet mud poured into the lower floors of the block, killing 18 people and injuring 24. A number of cafes and shops were destroyed by the mudslide, which required the subsequent evacuation of two residential blocks. Investigation concluded that the embankment fills were too loose to withstand the weakening effect of the preceding severe rainfall infiltration, leading to the fatal landslide. Today, looking at the tranquil parks and safe and secure established slopes where the catastrophic landslides took place, it is hard to imagine the damage and losses that took place in this area of Sao Mao Ping. The disasters brought about radical changes to geotechnical engineering in Hong Kong and in 1977 the government created what is today the Geotechnical Engineering Office. This office continues to serve the people of Hong Kong to ensure that disasters like the Sao Mao Ping and Po Shan Road landslides will not occur again. <laughs>